When I wake up late sometimes, I'm having a really vivid dream. Have you got any dreams you couldn't remember and you could answer it by saying, a dream I remember is? A good dream I remember is when I saw a diplodocus putting his head down. In my dream, we went to the store and over there were, it was like a zoo. I was playing on a football pitch and all of a sudden, the team that was coming up next to us were like ninjas and stuff. It's like a magnetic force and it brings them up onto the moon. My theory is that we all probably dream the same, whether or not we're blind or sighted. And I also feel as though when we go into this world of the imagination, in the imagination we can all see everything, you know? So there's a kind of universality to dream vision. Most people have never met a blind or a visually impaired child, uh, so there's a huge uh, public perception issue about what blindness is. Most blind and visually impaired children do not have the same opportunities in life. 90% of them grow up to be poor and lonely. Our SBC's mission is to make sure that blind and visually impaired children realize their life potential. We wrote a brief and at the center of the brief is the issue of raising awareness. CPMB engaged uh, branch arts who helped us to find an artist to bring the idea to life. Um, and Robert, among all the artists, was very interested in actually speaking to our beneficiaries and really understanding their hopes and their dreams. We thought for this brief, working with an artist would be a really good way to go because an artist as, as big as someone like Robert naturally gave the whole project scale uh, and uh, could get us, help us tell our story to more people. I thought the brief was really interesting because the brief of making visual art to support a campaign for blind children is a really interesting conundrum. What I'm doing is I'm making a sculpture that will travel around the country to promote and raise awareness for RSBC as a charity. The best possible way to raise awareness about the charity across the country would be if they could meet you lot and see how great you are and how funny and interesting you are and how creative you are. That would be the best ambassador for the charity. The equation I've been trying to solve is how to amplify the kids' voices in the best way possible and have that travel. And, you know, I've made a video installation inside a van. I've built a mini art gallery inside a truck, basically. So when it comes to your town, you can come down to the town square, go in the minibus, and they'll meet you by seeing the film where you're talking just about the stuff in your life, basically. It was about three years ago. Eyesight started getting blurry. I needed glasses. And then, about a year after that, they said it was Stargardt's, the doctors said it was Stargardt's. It doesn't make me upset. I just get on with my life as usual. Uh, what's hard to see is when it's uh, like 15 metres away, but what's easy to see is what's uh, uh, five metres away. Because i got tumours in my eyes. What the van tries to do is to invite you into their world so you understand it and you feel motivated to then help them. At the heart of it is a very strong message that we're getting out and we're telling it in what we think is a really powerful way. We're going to talk today a little bit about like what you want to be when you're older. Stuff like that. Have you got any ideas of, of, of that? After all, I'd like to be a vet. When I'm older, I'd like to help like, make equipment for hospitals because they really need it after everything they've done for me. I was hoping that when I leave school, I could become a sports coach to help kids with my eyesight and normal kids to show them how fun sports is. I want to be a fashion designer because I love sewing and I do sewing classes. The favourite thing I would want to be when I'm older is to be 
a chef. So I can like learn recipes and make this world happy. I was thinking like a doctor or a math teacher in university or owner or something like that. We're going to make a giant text piece illuminated yeah. on top of a van. So the van is like the plinth would be. Mm -hmm. We're covering it in black vinyl. So it looks like a cool, slick black truck. And then on top, we're building a metal structure, mm -hmm. a bit like a roof rack. Yeah. Each letter is about 80 centimeters high. Yeah. And it will say, in our dreams, we see forever. What I want to do is do a sentence from each of you and have it go around the outside of the van mm -hmm. in Braille. But I don't know much about Braille. Mm -hmm. And I wanted you to show me the basics. As soon as I met Yusuf, I just felt this really great inquisitiveness from him. At the beginning of the project, he was the, the one kid who was asking me like, how, but how does this work? How, how will you make it? How, how will like the sculpture stay on the roof of the van? So I thought I've got to work with him in some way. He's now collaborating with me on making the braille that goes around the outside of the minibus. So we're going through the films together. We're choosing the lines that we think are stand out from each monologue. This is called a cell. Mm -hmm. And we have different types of um, combinations for every single word. I appreciate the fact that I'm with Robert doing this project. It's really cool because loads of people who don't understand my vision and everyone else's vision will now kind of understand all of those stuff that people want to know. This project might be able to answer those questions. I think when people see the work, I want them to take away the fact that these children are amazing, have great imagination, are charming, are cute, are inquisitive, are intelligent, and actually are talented in terms of what they can imagine and articulate. And so I want you to be able to see these kids' potential. What we wanted to achieve was several things. One is bring awareness about the charity and the work they, they do, but through that, and even more importantly, is bring awareness to the children themselves, tell their story, and help them realise their dreams. This project's important to RSBC because we can't allow children who lose their sight in youth to grow up and be poor and lonely. The artwork and everything around it shines a bright light on these children and it demonstrates in a very nice way that they have the same dreams as every other child and they deserve to have a bright future.